been some time we got a lot to discuss a lot to talk about but yes we bought another mustang so catch out of the bag uh, there's no hiding it we went from red to black we're gonna discuss the reasons why we went with a different mustang but we got a black 400a non-performance package mustang gt and we also have regular seats we don't have the recars anymore got the regular brakes we're gonna discuss the reasons why what happened what are we doing as you can see we've already kind of swapped over some of the parts we're going to be doing some stuff that's a little bit different so with this exhaust for example we did have the double x on the last car now we have the double h and it sounds so much better so much better i really like it really deep really growly but these base wheels that come on these 24s don't look hideous, but it's really just not my cup of tea, guys. We're going to be changing that today. Uh, we're expecting a delivery of something really special and something new. We're going to be heading to the shop. If you missed the last video, then you don't know that I actually work for Ford now. That's why there's been such a delay in content is my work schedule has just been so busy. And basically at Ford, up the road, the big dealership, I am their performance technician. So we get to build stuff like this, uh, trucks, this, that, and the other, Broncos, Mustangs, you name it, we can do it. Uh, everything from superchargers to lift kits to tiny new covers to <laughs> mud flaps everything we're doing it all all right but a bit of a walk around before we go do that so like i said 400a regular seats 10 or 80 and we got the base brakes on there so kind of a different setup than what we're used to seeing and used to building and used to doing on this channel regular mustang instead of something special and there is a reason why we're going to discuss in this video a little bit about it but this is it. It looks beautiful in black. We've yet to own a dark colored Mustang on the channel and uh, really excited for this. Really mean, sinister looking. See, we already did the front lip from the other car on here. We're going to be changing a lot of things on this car. A lot of things. Black is just one of those colors you got to really maintain, but when they are clean, man, there's arguably no better looking car than a black Mustang. I need some window tint. It's going to be coming soon. Don't know if we're going to swap the badging or not. But, uh, time will tell. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff with this car. You know, the 25s are starting to hit the lot now, and they are vastly more expensive than the current 24s. Going to change out this rear spoiler. we got to personalize it, man. Interior, a little show and tell here. So regular seats, 10R80 transmission, premium 400A. Nothing special, not yet. A lot of things are going to be changing. All right, so a lot of you guys are probably in the comment section already like, wow, what is he doing? What happened to the red car? What is this thing doing here to replace it? What's the plan? What's the rhyme, the reason, the why? We're going to discuss. Let's go for a ride, but up to the shop so we can swap out some wheels for something new. here we go on the lift we're going to be replacing these stock wheels they're not bad but they just sink in too much it's a 19 by eight and a half i believe we'll just shove them in the corner or sell them i don't know we got these so these are the new titanium sve get and pick them up at latemodelrestoration.com links down below let them know that you saw this video uh, i don't have any codes for you anything like that but i just love the wheels love the company and we're here to give a shout out so um, not sponsored i paid real money for these but this is the new uh, dhp1 so it's a dark horse replica wheel handling pack wheel uh, this is in a glossy titanium finish and we did a 19 because they only come in 19s uh by 10 and 11 on the rear with a 285 35 front and a 305 35 rear wrapped in nittos but man oh man these things are hot so lightweight and it's going to give us some contact patch whenever we throw a supercharger on this thing uh get ready that's going to be coming that's in the works so anyway but yeah, we're going to swap these wheels over and these are going to give this car, I think, a really cool 
new look, getting rid of the satin silver base wheels to those. FedEx is running late. They dropped off three of them. We're still missing one. Should be here in a few minutes, hopefully. And we'll get this thing rocking and rolling and looking fresh. Already got our night top carbon fiber stuff on here. So we've got this piece. You guys got the rear diffuser. We got the side pieces we're gonna put on and some of the other stuff from the other car. But um debating do I keep this? Do we swap to the bronze? Don't know. I don't think I want to do black. I think it's just I don't want too much black. There's a night pony package out there a lot of you guys do have and it blacks out these, the badges, everything else, but I do like a little bit of contrast. That's why we didn't do a gloss black. We went with a titanium finish on these wheels because they offer a gloss black and a satin silver that's kind of similar to this, but I think the titanium finish is going to be the home run here on our shadow black Mustang GT. So I'm here on my day off. If you guys missed the last video, this is my workplace. This is where I come from like 7.30 in the morning to like 4 or 5 o'clock at night. And this is basically my little shop here at Jenkins and Wynn Ford. Go check out the links down below. We got a ton of ton of inventory. Anyway, so I am the new performance technician here. So anything from superchargers, lift kit, suspension, every vehicle out there. So F-150, 250, Mustang, superchargers, lift kits, like I said, everything. We can do it all here. Yeah, we've been very busy. I've been very busy over the past, uh, I guess, two and a half months at this point. So anyway, big things to come. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of cool custom stuff right here in this bay. Make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. We're gonna start filming some of the builds and things that we do. All right, we're waiting still on one of the wheels, tires to show up, but we're gonna go ahead and mount this side. I'm excited to see how this thing looks. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? So, still got a front Brembo here, so pretty nice. Already swapped over the BMR uh, sway bars and we haven't touched the suspension yet so we're going to be probably doing maybe something a little bit different than we did on the other car we shall see but all right guys a little comparison so these are all 19 by eight and a half i believe so all the way around but we got the 305s going on the back and you can see the size difference i can almost get my whole hand across on these and this is yeah huge difference there so it should really help putting the power down for what we have planned for this car. I got one side of it mounted, well kind of. So I got the rears mounted, but I left one of the fronts. So you guys can get the contrast between the two. The difference, look at that huge, huge difference over here. Um, so not bad from Ford, you know, but uh, obviously much better. So go check them out, lmr.com, check out SVE wheels, and pick you up a set of these before we were running the CFX wheels in a 20 inch. And I really liked them and it was a similar color. This is a little bit different, but um, I really think that this, this is like one of my favorite designs from Ford, but to get those OEM handling pack wheels is, it'll, it'll cost you a fortune. So these are priced like exceptionally well for a flow formed wheel. I think that it's a home run, the finish on it's great. So go check them out. Again, not sponsored, I paid real money for these, but I just, I, I love it. I mean, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Still waiting on FedEx to show up, but we added a couple of things back like our fender trim and matte carbon fiber and matte carbon fiber from our friends at Night Top. Guys, go check them out. We do have video links down below, discount codes, save you some money on all this carbon fiber trim. But um, since we're doing wheels, figured that we would do another one today, but not this kind of wheel. We're going to be doing one of these. So our friends at Extreme Online Store have sent us out a steering wheel to test out and see how we like it. So we're gonna open it up and compare the OEM versus what's in this box. But I mean, this is a 400A package, so it's not the two tier perforated leather like you get in the 401A, but still a very nice flat bottom steering wheel nonetheless. But let's see what we got here. We got carbon fiber, red stitching. We got the red center stripe up top since we're going to be doing red accents in the car it's going to go really well with the rest of the black car and all the other accessories the color contrast that we're going with so side by side check them out so still got the flat bottom we got gloss carbon fiber i'm <clears throat> i'm more of a fan of the matte and is something we'll probably do in the future but this is what they had at the moment and until they switch things over we'll just rock this but i think the red trim 
Uh, the red stitching and everything does look pretty good. So anyway, carbon fiber steering wheel versus the OEM. It's a nice little side-by-side -side action for you. Looks really good. It's gonna help dress up the interior just a little bit. And anyway, the cool thing about these steering wheels is they're super like easy to take out of the car versus like the S550. Um, and then also how these things kind of come apart and then transfer is like all your buttons and everything is like, uh, I think a lot easier. So here we got the nice perforation on the leather. I'm gonna dress up the interior a little bit, make it look really nice with that red, especially on black. I think it's gonna look really good, guys. All right, so because it matters, uh, let's talk about thickness. You've got some finger grooves going on on the back, and then of course, this is just all flat on the OEM. Let's put it in the car, see how it looks. The new steering wheel installed, it looks so good. Guys, don't sleep on these companies. Links down below, check out the discount codes to save money when you're modding your Mustang. But let's step outside of the car, do a little walk around and show you what's new. And it looks great. Check her out. We got the wheels installed, look very good on this color. So we still need to lower it. We do have the BMR sway bars on there and lots more goodies to come because we're gonna be changing up the suspension a little bit from what we did before. It's gonna be similar, but slightly different. We got some window tint installed, looks so much better. The night top carbon fiber bits and matte look delicious on our Shadow Black Mustang. A few more things to install. We still gotta put a spoiler on this car because that little bitty one, not bad, but just not my flavor. Corsa exhaust, this was the Dark Horse version that we modded for the regular Mustang GT. Guys, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. First Mustang I've had with a Sunstrip. Don't know if I'm feeling it, honestly, I might rip it off. These are the new Dark Horse replicas from Late Model Restoration SVE wheels. This is the DHP1 in a 19 by 10, 19 by 11 with a 285, 35, 19. And of course the 305, 35, 19 wrapped in those in the rear. Lots to talk about, lots to discuss. Why do we give up the red car for this one? We're gonna go for a little bit of a drive, finish out the video and talk briefly about it. There is our new steering wheel from Extreme Online Store. Loving it, looks good. We're gonna have links down below where you can check out this steering wheel. Highly recommend it, priced right, very good quality. So let's go for a drive. So the red car was a 400A, so same trim level, but it had the performance package and it had the manual transmission. Basically the difference of the car is no performance package this time and we have a 10R80 transmission. So why? What was the point? Truthfully, the performance package was something that I should have just skipped. By the time you've changed out all of your suspension, including shocks and struts because they weren't Magnaride cars, and wheels and tires, and this and that, what was the point of the performance package? I mean, I was spending extra money for something that I have completely gotten rid of and changed. And so that's one part of it. We're gonna change everything anyway, so what does it matter? Why not take the cheaper car and then build it the way that I want? That is what led us to this car. You know, I just got done boosting a dark horse with the 10R80 and of course we took it for a test drive and man the manual is good it's still an MT82 you can make it better which we did with the MGW shifter which is worth every freaking penny but something about the new 10 speed we had a spec 3 RTR come by the dealership the other day it was a stage 2 Whipple and it had the 10 speed and <laughs> stage 2 with the 10R80 is like fence about the Brembo brake upgrade you know I kind of wanted to do it and find one and continue to try to locate but I was like let's just go for the one that we have in the lot it's here you know the deal's good I get deep land I've got this I've got that and uh, you know it worked out but it's, there's a cool benefit to it right so we have less rotational mass because we have the standard brakes and we do have Brembo's in the front they're just not as big but those big Brembo's are heavy heavy Heavy, heavy. Now with the base brakes, they stop pretty much just as good. Slight difference in feel, unless you're really tracking that car, you're not really gonna see the benefit on the street. But what we've gained from the smaller brakes is again, less rotational mass, it means that this car is lighter and technically faster. And we could put a 17 inch wheel on the back with a big old fat tire. We can start drag racing again. So we can just gear down with the paddles. So like third gear and nail it. Needs power, but it's 
far as the shifting, it's great. You know, and it doesn't really hunt for gears like it did in the S550. So again, whatever they've done, they figured it out. It seems to be really impressive. Once we get some boost on here, I think, I think we're gonna be in business. We gave up the Recars, we don't have Recars anymore. We got the regular seats. Having the heated seats back is like, I was really missing it. Honestly, I was really missing the heated seats. After a long day of doing lift kits and superchargers and this and that, and my back hurts, boy. Still in dirt. speed with all the revisions we got the regular seats with the heated we don't have a performance package not having a payment wrapped up in it right so we can build the entire car the way we want we have a less rotational mass on the brakes we can put a 17 inch wheel in the back and roll it the drag strip and it still is going to handle well so this is kind of a back to basics but we're going to build up from here and truthfully this is what i should have probably started with about a year ago. Just built our own Mustang. Uh, so long red car and welcome the new Shadow Black S650 Mustang. Get ready for boost, get ready for mods, get ready for everything to come, and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.